um, Toshi for taking this on. It's a lot. And thank God you guys are here. And I want to just praise for Almond. Um, it's too bad she's not in this call, but I was really impressed with how well the Giveth Comms channel ran without her for a week. She got a well-deserved vacation. And like, it seems like nothing in the comms, uh, like on Twitter or external, uh, it's missed a beat. And that's really hard to do. It's hard to take a week vacation and then like just keep the whole engine moving. So like major praise to Almond. And I'll pass it to Lauren. Oh, my God. Okay, great. Yeah, you know, I want to praise William, too, because William has done an epic job the last days of just making sure that all of our DEX aggregator listings give token logo stuff is, like, all up to date. It was, like, something we were, like, trying to get to, trying to get to, and then he just, like, kind of, like, boomed it. And so, like, major praise to William for all the hard work that he put in there. Um, and I also want to praise Heather um, for just being, like, super, super supportive with me on all kinds of, like, sticky sort of of like hiring and reviewing and buddy stuff and like she's just like such an incredible support all the time also she gave me epic feedback on my buddy review call that i was just like i should get better at that so major praise to heather for all of just like her humanness and her like major support and like bringing us to the ne to the next level um yeah yeah and i also want to praise ashley for for doing an amazing job of like checking and reviewing all of the projects like coming up for now the the arbitrum round and in the past and the give earth round and just like holding so many things down for qf just making sure our systems are like working really really well and smooth and major praise to her and that means i'll pass it to you, ashley oh uh, thanks lauren i also want to praise you and all the people who gave me feedback during my buddy call it was actually like really great and like i left my buddy call like feeling really loved and happy to be here as part of the giveth family and it was really really nice so thanks to everyone who gave me feedback there I want to praise Nicola for doing all of the project verification while I was on vacation. With the Arbitrum round coming up, we've been just kind of having a bit of an influx on applications, and she was there holding it down while I was gone. And lastly, I don't. I was like thinking in my head, but I didn't get this far. I don't know. I really appreciate that Roberto and William have come on to do recirculation review. It's helped me a lot and helped Griff a lot and helped give backs a lot to be more on schedule and be done in a more timely manner. So thank you guys so much. And I will pass it to Mitch. Thanks, Ashley. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm a little bit laggy, but I want to praise um ali and Miriam, they spent the last couple of weeks working on um building some new analytics for us to track um on the stats dashboard so uh lots and lots of really cool stuff like we can finally see how much our features are actually getting used so praise to those two and my other praises for latifat um she just joined the team uh like maybe a month ago and she's been doing a really great job uh she's super smart she knows everything about Web3 already, and I mean, she's doing a great job. And my last praise is for the other uh, new hire, which is Ian. Uh, Ian, aka Forest Keeper, uh, joined again about a month ago. He's been doing a great job um, launching a new ambassador program, question mark, exclamation mark, uh, and uh, looking at our emails, looking at our Google Analytics, and just doing like, the whole package of like community building, marketing, knowing all the stack for, for getting the things done and getting all the info we need. So um, praise to him as well for that. And that's my three. I'll pass it to you. I'll pass it to Steve. Uh, jam, jam. Um, praising. <laughs> How's it going, everyone? Uh, so I want to uh, praise Aubrey, um, who's new to G on the GM side. Um, it's been really great having her energy kind of coming into the marketing and bringing in her ideas, especially for spaces and stuff. And she also gets up really, really early for uh, calls, like 6 a.m. Uh, sometimes. So on the other end of the day, uh, as me, opposite opposite uh, time time issues, I guess. 
Um, I want to praise Heather for uh, being a great um, check-in on happiness and uh, just work vibes. And uh, it was really good having a, a sync with her recently. Um, and kind of figuring, figuring out how some ways I can kind of help the galaxy uh, in some ways moving forward. And um, praise uh, Lumina Vision for always being active on the timeline, uh, supporting Giveth, and uh, yeah, showing a positive voice in the space and really showing how she loves Giveth. Um, I'll pass it to William. Sorry, sorry, Mike, Mike, Mike issue. And uh, thank you to all. And yeah, mm, my prices goes for fears, like for for Lauren. It's a big praise because I really appreciate when when people uh, say to you uh, in which what is you have been like doing wrong, and most importantly, is like how you can improve it. And I think that this is the most important part. Uh, to work together with people because it's not just pointed out something bad, it's just uh, suggest a way to improve it. And I, I, I will I will make a praise to, to to Ashley too because she has been like very like uh, open eyes all around the, of givebacks, what is happening around the, uh, the backgrounds uh, that we were, were facing on and the current one he always is being like accessible to to fix any problem that appear. And another big praise for for grief because he just uh, make all the calls that we get on sync like very like understandable if I can say and very clear to understand the strategies and all the ways. For example, around the keep recirculation stuff. Like it's a big issue, but yeah, it's, he he just don't say it. Uh, in a bad way and you understand it very well yeah and i will pass it to, to let me see um mm, to jake yeah oh yeah it has been a while since i've been able to be unique and quirky on this i think i missed last month so i went with since the olympics are tomorrow i went with a little bit of an olympic theme so i'm giving out gold medals this time my first gold medal goes to kieran and he receives a gold medal in what i call give it surfing as he paddles stands and surfs around all of his give earth qf round task with ease he's making it look easy hang 10 brother Next would be Marcelo. He receives a gold medal in Giveth Grant's Taekwondo as he kicks, punches, grabs, scrapes everything he can for Giveth uh, fundraising team. And last, this was a tough one, but since I am a unique kind of weirdo, I don't get to use this word very often. So I'm going to go ahead and give it to Heather. Heather, for sure, in this one, for receiving a gold medal for going to the AIDS conference panel discussion in Badman and using her shuttlecock back and forth on a panel discussion, uh, a gold medal goes to Heather. There you go. There you have it for this week. I'm going to go ahead and pass it to shuttlecock over to Heather. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that is so much the most creative praise of Jake and everyone. Um, I would like to send my praise to Nicola and Nima. We've been um, going through a lot of uh, raw data for the leadership review and really um, Paul polishing it and making it very um, useful and and uh, tactful as well. Um, I want to praise Lauren for um, really diving into um, to the like HR side of the job around um, developing uh, performance improvement plans and um, and yeah just being game to to learn all these like new skills um, and then I also, want to praise um mitch um because yeah he's like very um c consistent and reliable for um our dow ops calls he keeps us on tasks and um and yeah so we can meet our goals and with that i will pass to um 
um, Lumina and Vision. Hey, yes, it's a pleasure to give a praise. Um, well, I also want to give a praise to Kiran for managing this quadratic funding like a pro and for giving us interesting spaces where he also uh, gave uh, all of us a chance to speak and uh, didn't let anybody speak for too long. And uh, I want to praise Mitch for uh, handling my bugs and uh, stupid issues in uh, my tickets on Discord. I had already quite few and um, he and developer teams always helping me. And um, yeah, well, I'm not sure. Of course I want to praise I want to praise Grip for making this all happen. And um, thank you for always uh, reposting my posts. Uh, it's also uh, it's also important for me to see the support from GiveF community. Thank you. Here, and I, I can pass it to you. Let's throw it over. Uh, and, and of course, you make great posts. How can I not retweet it? Uh, let's throw it over to Latifa. Uh, new, would you like to dish any praise? Yes. Hello, everyone. Um, thank you for having me. Oh, you're really quiet. Is there any chance that you can somehow make get your face closer to the mic or something? Can you hear me now? Yeah, it's better. Still a little quiet. Can you hear me? That's better. Go for it. Okay. So I would like to praise you. Actually, Latifa, I'm so sorry. We can't, we still, we can't hear you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass it to someone else, and if you can get your mic working, hopefully we can pass it back. Uh, let's throw it over to Ben. I see Ben here. He's another new, new, new person who maybe. Do you want to play with dishing praise? Hello, guys. Can you hear me? Yep, we hear you great. Yeah, I think. The biggest praise that I want to give is to Alex. He's my buddy. He did a really great job to onboard me into the project. And that amount of effort and information that he gave me to feel more, now more confident about the project and the resources that I got. So thanks to Alex. The next praise, certainly, I don't know, <laughs> I would like to give to my whole team because they were so grateful to uh, on, like welcome me, be helpful in terms of I don't know giving all the, so, sort of answers to some questions and help me sort out things basically. <laughs> nice, thank you, Ben and uh, Latifa. Do you want to try again? Yeah, can you hear me now? Yes, I hear you. we hear you great. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, everyone. So I would like to give my first praise to Mitch. So he has really been helpful and quite reliable and he's always willing to answer my one million questions whenever I have one. So it has made my own body quite smooth. And the, my next praise will be going to Mary Jaff, my buddy. So she as well has really made my own body quite um, easy and seamless. So I really appreciate all the support and assistance from the both of them. And I'm going to give the final praise to the whole dev team. To be honest, they have been really supportive. Like all of them, especially developers, they have been really supportive. Always willing to answer my questions whenever I need clarification. So, and that has been quite... Um, um, supportive and helpful to me. So, thank you, everyone. Yeah, I'll pass it on to. I'm not sure. Maybe Almond. Oh well, uh, actually, we we met her. We met her. We're past time. We're past time. I, I I gotta stop out. As much as I would love to hear almonds, Aptoshis, and Katabes, and so many other people's praise. Um, we gotta get to the. We gotta get back to the show. So. Uh, let's let's start this off. First off, that was praise. It's a great way to do decentralized updates and let everyone speak. 
but it's also just uh, it also distributes give tokens uh so uh if you i see Abtoshi trying to like figure out how to get praise going in the praise channel uh, if you're still having trouble definitely um uh, i'm sure someone can help you but it's uh you gotta activate your praise and then you can start dishing praise like mad uh it's it's a really fun way for us to like uh reward each other for just going above and beyond so uh yeah that's praise most of you know what's going on but don't be shy you can praise 24 7 it's not just something that happens once a month in the monthly town halls which we are at uh our monthly town hall praise to uh ashley for updating the slides as always at least this one um some announcements so number one uh, many people have staked in octant this is your moment to go vote we have praise and pairwise both getting over 20 uh um different uh 20 eth which is incredible um we need to keep it up and what's cool here is that it's quadratic voting this time so having your staked golem has a huge impact even if it's just a thousand golem so uh definitely get in there you could also support dap node is in here um there is uh, ethereum attestation services on giveth rope key is on giveth there's some other projects here dap node uh a shielded voting is actually through um gmgm GM. so there's lots of really cool projects in here to support so definitely you know of course praise and pairwise are uh, important but don't be afraid to spread the love uh also um worth mentioning retro funding six is on its way so let's uh, make sure that we have uh that we're all focused that this is this is what has allowed us to grow in the last few months is is a successful funds raised in retro pgf3 it's really carried us uh as an organization optimism is actually our main source of funding so don't forget that and remember to prioritize things that will help us bring more governance value to the optimism ecosystem and uh qac updates there's a lot going on tam is here we're writing a white paper um we're looking at launching uh bonding curves at the beginning of september and a, a projects will hopefully start applying within the next couple of weeks we're actually just blocked by polygon i just want to give like a little bit of an update of what's going on here um but all of this is happening through the through the giveth platform so we're really excited about this and ben uh who dished some of the last praise there he uh he's going to be uh the main guy to talk to about getting anything done around around qx so definitely definitely check that out and and yes there's so many new contributors here uh i don't i don't even know where to start we got ian we got ben we got Avtoshi. um maybe actually i don't know does anyone have a list of all the new contributors that have been hired in the galaxy lately um i feel like heather might be I do. the right person to talk to <laughs> you do would you just like list off all the new hires if you can because it's insane we're growing so much right now i'll list the new hires in the call how about this Okay, that's great. Yeah, put them in the chat. That's even better. That's even better because then it will persist. Uh, so let's. I'll, I'll just keep going because we're going to run out of time by the end of this. So Dow service announcements. Heather's taking to, uh, is off till tomorrow, but she's here right now. What are you doing, Heather? Go home. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, thanks for thanks for hanging out. Um, and then Ramin is. Oh, oh, I see. This is actually old information. That's why. Okay, well, at least we have at the bottom here, uh, Kieran is gone for a few days starting today. And uh, Lauren and I are going uh, on a little vacation with her mom. So that should be fun. Uh, so we'll, we'll be missing a few days of work. And uh, Mitch is going to be out August 5th to 10th. That's great, Mitch. Uh, I hope you're doing something fun. I think you're camping, right? uh and then and maybe almond if you can drag her into the woods no i'm just kidding uh, <laughs> and then uh yeah and then i'm sure other people are going on vacation this month as well like it's it's summer so i uh, expect people to be in and out and leave them alone let them enjoy their vacation nothing's that important uh okay and with that we can start our regular well oh yeah one last thing if you there's been a lot of buddy review calls lately thank you so much to everyone who's filled out these forms 
They are really valuable for people. I heard lots of praise around the buddy reviews. So uh, that's just because, you know, they're really valuable. They're our best way of feedback. So, and they do, you don't have to wait until a buddy review happens to fill a form out. If you have any feedback for anyone, positive or negative, uh, please don't be shy. Fill out the review form. If they're a leader, fill out the leadership review form. They're here in the slides. Always, you can find the links. And uh, yeah. And if there's any conflict with someone, consider filling out the gravity support request form so that we can squash the conflict early and, and uh, help repair the r relational fabric of our community. Okay. Moving on. DAP Working Group. This one is for Mitch. Do you want to take it away? Yeah, sure. Um, so DAP Working Group. Well, oh man, that's hard to see. Recurring Donations Rally is still ongoing. So that's going to be going until August 26th. So about one more month. Uh, there's a list of projects there that um, people can start making recurring donations to on Optimism. You'll win a chance to get some sweet prizes and support projects along the way. It's a new, very cool feature that we worked very hard on. So if you haven't had the opportunity to try it out, um, I'd very much recommend doing it. Um, and yeah, tell it to project owners, tell your community, everyone just, you know, start playing with a feature. Uh, I think, well, when we had the last monthly town hall, we did have already the Griffin Jordy talk. Uh, now you can get it on Spotify and that's available in the give talk Spotify channel. I think it's called the channel. And the last thing is join our Farcaster channel. You can go to Warpcast and follow the Giveth channel there. If you haven't already, I found out, I thought I was already following it, but there's like, there's a Giveth user and then there's our channel, which provides like more, a different way of providing people with updates. I don't know. But um, yeah, you can check it out there. Mm. Yeah. We have developer dailies, uh, like Monday to Friday now, actually. We just added a Friday call. And I think even Sunday there's a call. Um, so yeah, lots of calls various times because there's lots of competing calls. Uh, sometimes 8.15, sometimes 7.30, sometimes 8, uh, all in Mexico time. We also have a comms call that happens Tuesdays uh, consistently at uh, 10 a.m., Mexico time as well. Uh, what DAP is
Yeah. And what else? What could have gone better? Uh, we still have lots of performance issues to chew through, um, especially like the QF rounds. Like before the beginning of the last QF round, there was some performance issues. During the QF round, there was still more stuff. So we really just need to get better at like mm, mitigating all of this stuff when we have high traffic, which is during quadratic funding. Uh, staging has a bunch of weird performance issues that we couldn't figure out. We just made a big breakthrough. We're figuring it out, trying to fix the things. Uh, and that leads to more optimizations for production as well. Some stats. Uh, from July 5th until now, from the beginning of Season 4, we've got $47,000 worth of donations. And almost all of that is to verified projects. I'm assuming a, most of that is from the Give Earth round. Uh, recurring donations, though, from July 5th, only about 50 bucks. So I think a lot more work has to be done there uh, in promoting people to try out that feature. Newly verified projects, about 10 so far, which is a really good head start. And yeah, looking forward to some more stats, maybe by the next call, uh, from some of the work that Ian's doing, but more on that later. Mm. Next slide. What's coming up next? Uh, again, recurring donation rally is going through until the 26th of August. Uh, we're going to finish the endowment integration by the time we have this call uh, next month. It will be done. We are going to start the integration of DVouch into decentralized project verification for Giveth. Mm, yeah, that's super exciting. Uh, we've got a Give Talk on Monday with Willie, Willie Fox, Willie the Legend. So that's going to be the best day ever. And you guys, I think there's a tweet that I should have added there. Maybe Alman can probably dig it up to. Uh, subscribe to the space and set a reminder. Seller integration, that's going to be ongoing. Uh, new ambassador program. I think Ian's going to share some details uh, maybe next week or on Friday uh, around that. And uh, he's also working on some of the content updates uh, for our reminder emails or Reminder emails for project owners to add an update. He's going to be updating some of the content there. And I found out Dilbert is actually a really funny and relevant comic strip. So I've been digging into lots of Dilbert comics, and I think this was a good one. Yeah. Anyway, just read it. I'm not going to read it. You guys should read it. Yeah, that's it for the DAP. And um, pass the dig of economy. Oh my god, that's me! Well, cool. Okay, as you know, probably the give economy working group passed with sustain. Passed with sustain for Shell made this really funny meme. I think it's like actually really good. I remember when all the working groups had grow and they all go wild. <laughs> sure, but let's. <laughs> Let's try with a sustained budget for all working groups for now. <laughs> She's good at memes. Okay, also super fun announcement. This Give Economy Dune dashboard is here. And I think you should click it, Griff. Maybe you already did. Give Economy Dune dashboard is here. It includes tons of awesome stats like what is our total supply? What's our circulating supply? How much is locked in the give stream? How much of that is the DAO holding? Therefore not circulating. Um, and then it shows like, you know, what's on Solana and Optimism and all the different chains. It shows holders and stakers and you keep scrolling. It's got liquidity and then you keep scrolling and it's got tons of information about give power, including like who is locking up on what chains and how much and when are their total opens unlock and there's just like tons of super cool information here that i think can really help to inform our decisions like if we're thinking like oh we want to change the way the incentives work oh well like when is a bunch of give getting unlocked on this date we should tell people before then anyway all this and more is now possible with the give economy dune dashboard and you yes you can look at it and gain insights into the give economy 
<laughs> um, I think it's pretty cool. I mean, there's just some really cool things on here. Like there's like over a million dollars of liquidity for give token across all the chains, but like, wow, that's a lot. And also there's like, yeah, 500,000 USD value locked of give tokens. That's so cool. I mean, we're doing so good guys. I'm excited about this dashboard and Amin worked really hard on it. And I was really hard on Amin working on it. So anyway, it's great. You should, you should check it out and love it as much as I do. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. So that, that, you know, I put it also on the, what went well of things, but yeah, if we kind of talk about like what has been happening in July, one major thing that has been happening is that we've been working with Myosin, the marketing agency that we hired for the Give Economy, and they've been doing some really incredible work. Um, basically, like they've been um, mapping out like kind of what are the feelings that people might have around buying a gift, buying the Give token, and like when would they want to sell, and what feelings would they have, and what are the opportunities for intersection um, that Giveth has for intersecting them, and like you know supporting their feelings in these ways. So it's just like really interesting. I'm learning tons of cool stuff about like marketing and setups and even like they've been doing community interviews like Lumina and Visions here on the call and they were interviewing her and being like, how did you become such a give maxi? No, they asked her more general questions than that. But like they've been doing these great community interviews, gathering feedback, and they just have basically a ton of work that they've been putting in. Oh, I might have linked the wrong link, but um, yeah ton of great work that they've been doing that I think is great. And basically in the next month, they're going to start start to be putting together the campaigns that are going to be going out to be supporting like basically just give economy efforts. I already mentioned the do dashboard. Another thing that went really awesome and I think is related to give economy is that while we were at ECC, there's, there's a lot of talk and hype around wow. QAC and GERB. Indeed. And so Indeed. Justice gave this awesome presentation explaining QAC and how how it works and then i was shilling qac and gervs and like tokenizing for nonprofit projects in a panel um like also that day um so there was just like tons of talk about give economy qac and gervs and tons of people really actually kind of right now i'm thinking ideas so, i mean i think that was a really huge small win as well also another fun a win a wide variety of stuff that you can do your um, Danny, maybe you can mute um and another another exciting fun win that we have is that the connect bridge liquidity is all in there so if you wanted to bridge tokens from gnosis chain to optimism to take advantage of those like sweet op aprs you can you can it's now possible and there's actually like a fast route um so like you know if you bridge like smaller amounts it can take like just a few minutes which is super cool um, but don't tell too many people. It's just for you. Anyway, um, next thing, um, we also submitted our listing um, application to get Give Token listed on Binance, waiting to hear from them. Um, and William, as I mentioned in my praise, has been doing a huge job of like checking off all the DEX aggregators um, and uh, to, to get them to... Um, improve the gift token listing. So that is exciting. Um, what could have gone better? I'm, you know, I'm a little sad that the arbitrage bot is still not live. It's still being worked on. I mean, it should be live soon, but I think I say that every week and every month, but yeah. Um, and also, um, yeah, we missed, I think Mitch already mentioned this, but we missed counting um, some recurring donations and give backs. So we're having to do a little bit of back there. Those are just like some hiccups. Um, I put the chart here. That's like the gift token, um, over the last month, like and compared to ETH and compared to the dollar. And it's just been kind of like, I mean, a little bit down, a little bit flat, but ETH's also been down over the last uh, month. Um, so it's kind of like to be expected. What is coming up in August? The dappening continues. Um, we're going to be implementing a, well, we're going to be making a governance process to see if the community wants us to implement a givebacks claim window. So if you don't claim your givebacks, basically after a really long period of time and you never ever claim it, then what's givebacks we can use to give to other people for givebacks? So um, we're working on implementing that. Also coming up soon is uh, Polygon ZKVVM integration. We're starting to work on it now and like move it, um, move the give token and the give economy onto um, Polygon ZKVM. And a lot of talk has been going on about givebacks V2, the raffle um, or the lottery. No, it's a raffle. Um, it's kind of like the evolution of givebacks where we're talking about like basically making givebacks into sort of more of a competition, something that's more fun with like large Larger amounts of give that you could win and also like decreasing our overhead around recirculation and just like making it like more fair and more fun for everyone. So some experimental ideas happening in here. Stay tuned to the forum for that dappening coming soon. And just a hat tip here for Steve on this super duper cute meme. I mean, look at that. What are these things? Are they llamas? It's like there's give power in the boosted project. They're like, 
snuggling i don't know it's so happy and cute i just love this and i love also like the um the motion happening in the picture you see the rocket ship like going into the cheek anyway sorry i go on and on i'm gonna pass it over because i'm done talking it's daps dow ops dow ops it's mitch oh wow it's me already again uh okay well uh dow ops so the biggest thing I think is like um, something that Lauren mentioned was like the, she said the give economy pass was sustained. So we had a, oh, I should have linked that at the snapshot vote. But um, we had our season four vote that ended on the 13th of July. And it was a pretty tight one. And based on the budget available, and the outcome of the voting, we decided from all of the working group proposals, there was five of them, uh, everyone would get a scope of sustain. Uh, we decided that on the Gov call last Monday, so like over a week ago. Um, and so, yeah, everyone's got the their mandates. They know what they're to be working on, what the expectations are uh, at the end of the season, which will be in October. And yeah, Griff's got the little thing there. So basically, if everybody sustained, we'd be pretty much bang on our budget that we would our spending budget for the the season. So uh, that's what led to that decision. And I'll touch more a little bit on that later. Some observations, but um, if you're a Giveth contributor and you haven't checked this out yet, there's a form for you to get give tokens as part of your payment uh, and maybe even get some bonus. Some of this information might change though, and that's another thing we have to talk about, is there are some votes up in the snapshot. And I think I actually linked that there. We're just gonna jump around a little bit. Uh, some governance discussions that came out from Monday uh, discussing increasing the required lockup duration for give received as Equity, uh, changing it from that four month round currently up to up to one year and there's a couple different options there that you can vote for uh, it is a ranked choice vote so you can set your preference of results and the other important vote that's linked to this is uh, requiring if people should only have to lock up the portion of give that they receive it as bonus or should they have to lock up the entirety of the give that they receive? So these are two very important changes uh, that might affect you if you are getting give as part of your payment every month. The outcome of these votes will only be applied um, starting payroll, not at the end of this month, but starting at the beginning of September for uh, August, so the month preceding. So make sure there's a bunch of give token whales here and this is for all of you to vote on since it affects the give token very much. Some other stuff, uh, maybe someone can help me link that in the chat here. But um, some other stuff, finalize your time reports by August 1st. Praise rewards is back. I'm working with Shane and we are assigning quantifiers and distributing praise as give token rewards. Once again, if you want to become a quantifier, uh, just send me a DM or tag me somewhere and we can work on getting you onboarded. Mm, we have a governance call that happens every other week. Monday is at 9 a.m. I think we just had one this Monday. So the next one will be in uh, a week and a half. We also have a DAOP sync happening bi-weekly at 8 a.m. So that'll be next Thursday, so in one week uh, from today. Uh, I'm going to speed through because we're running out of time, and there's two more working groups. What happened last month? Again, we fired up praise rewards and quantification. Shane is jumping in as a rewards assistant, so she's working with me to make sure people are quantifying. We're setting up new rounds and also will be helping out with the distribution of rewards as well. Leadership Review had a great amount of responses from contributors. And we also had a first draft of a Google Calendar tracking uh, governance. 
Almond, I think you're unmuted, by the way. But anyway, you could check that there. And I'm going to be publishing that pretty quick. Yeah, Griff, don't look at Griff's calendar. That's the worst <laughs> calendar screenshot. There's so much going on. But yeah. Uh, so yeah. Uh, back to the thing, Griff. Back to the thing. Where is it? What could have gone better? Uh, lots of info to process for the leadership review. Uh, our Swiss DAO is kind of in limbo because we need to add and change members and communication is very slow with our, our legal contact. And poor voter, voter turnout from season four. Um, I think only nine out of like the 35 people that have been receiving vesting actually voted on the season four vote. So like all of those people that should have a boatload of give tokens, uh, most of them didn't actually vote in what I would say is a pretty important and meaningful vote for governance. So we're looking at ways to uh, find out why people aren't voting and how we can get more, get more participation in these big governance votes. Mm, what's going to be happening next? Again, as I mentioned, potentially some changes to the equity agreement resulting from the two snapshot votes. Uh, finalizing individual leadership reports and organization summaries. We're going to be improving the self-review questions uh, on your, that you do before your buddy reviews to help with the Dow quality score. Praise distribution for March. And we're going to be doing more quantifications. There's a big one right now from basically April, May, and June. Uh, over 1,200 praise needs to be quantified, so I think there's about 18 people that have been drafted to do that. Sorry, that's the same picture from last week. I'm bad, you guys, I'm sorry. Well, yeah, you know, there was one thing that I didn't see here, and it looks like we're using give power now for voting instead of give tokens. Yeah, absolutely. That was from, I think, maybe two weeks ago. That's a good crutch, is... The way that we calculate give power is different Ooh, now. Oh, yeah. Uh, so now, for your voting power to count, it has to be staked into give power, and you can actually lock it to get more voting power. So, you know, staking and locking is now the primary way that we're calculating voting power. We're no longer looking at give that you're just holding in your wallet that's unstaked, nor are we looking at any R give that you might hold as well. It's just pure give power used right now uh, in snapshots. So good catch on that, Griff. Yeah, and uh, yeah, thanks, Mitch. That was uh, a lot going on in Dow Ops. Holy crap, I don't know how you did that so fast. Let's throw it over to Jake for fundraising working group. Yep. Sounds good. Uh, well, as everybody, no surprise here, our working group for the season is sustained as well. Uh, a couple things that we require from everybody in the call, get your fingers moving in August for us. There'll be a meta pool vote starting August 2nd, 12th through the end of the month. If you have any um, kind of sway there, we're also going to get involved in the RN DAO Gitcoin QF round that starts on the 7th as well as we'll be in Gitcoin Grants 21 on the 7th. So some calls to actions for the community. Nothing uh, linked for Griff to pull up right now, but uh, be on the lookout for those quick links to make some donations for your favorite donation platform. Uh, we have a combined weekly call with um, General Magic, as well as uh, the others in the Give of the Galaxy, and that's on Mondays, uh, 4 p.m. Central European uh 6 p.m uh gmt plus four for those following along in my neighborhood uh what happened since we last met and griff gave the updates last month uh we did get some results for op retro funding for not as high as we would have liked but also on the positive end we didn't think we were going to get in this round uh so uh the numbers aren't as big as as probably uh the upcoming governance one and as big as what we saw in the past 
but don't hang your heads low because we really didn't think we were going to uh, get involved in this one. Uh, also, we did a really good job on the fundraising team securing three new Q forcers and seven total for this most recent Cello uh, Give Earth um, QF round, which saw us boost another matching pool from you know around 30k up to 40k, and that's always a good goal of our team is to to try to boost that matching pool as high as we can. As mentioned by Mitch, uh, the Stellar integration has begun, but one thing we can mention is that we did get paid. So you can see there on the right side, over 470,000 XLM, which at today's market value is about 48,000. We'll see what we can do with that. We'd love to get it higher or wait till it's around 50K because that's what we sent over in the grant application. Um, yours truly did head over to Land of Beer, Chocolates and Waffles and went to ECC and it, it paid off. We made some really, really good connections with Fuel near Starknet as well as um, there might be an LP coming along with Gitcoin. Uh, stay tuned for that. Hopefully by August uh, we'll have an update uh, or some more positive news from that. Uh, grants in the works so we got to kind of work with the community if anybody sees here on the list that you have um, something to add or you want to suggest uh, a different l2 etc make sure otherwise these are the ones that are drafted up and ready for the the community to offer suggestions on if we should do it or not pretty excited about uh, base bnb uh, litecoin and tezos um, as mentioned in the call to actions, Metapool and Gitcoin are coming up in August. Please help us out. Uh, Kyoto is, is kind of in this uh, purgatory level right now, but we're hoping to get that pushed out of purgatory once they have their token launch next week. Fingers crossed, knock on wood. Uh, we had a really good call with BASE today, and they're excited to see what they can do to help us out. We mm -hmm. probably will be moving forward with a BASE QF round after an Arbitrum round, stealing a little bit more thunder from the QF group. I don't get to do that much, so sorry, Lauren. Uh, and then yours truly, or actually Lauren and Griff are going to head to uh, Toronto just down the street uh, and go head to the conference and hopefully fundraise and shill their pants off so as mentioned in my praise i know kieran is off surfing somewhere probably not so let me hand it over to lauren thank you jake all right qf working group um so uh yeah give our brown jake mentioned it we got a grant from thank Arp, which is super exciting um to be hosting and Arbitrum round starting on July 30th. Yeah, you heard that's July 30th. It's just Tuesday. So if you're in this call and you're just like, oh, I want to hang out and see what's going on. And I have a project that is contributing to Arbitrum in some way. You should definitely apply via the form because we're still like accepting projects to get into the round right now. And like none of the projects are finalized. Well, all the projects are not yet finalized. So um, last call for applications and last call also just to like <laughs> tell your friends that um, that they could apply to this round. So there's a matching pool of 15,000 ARB, which I think is like pretty close to $15,000. So it's kind of a massive round if you're really thinking about it. And all you need to be doing is somehow adding value to the Arb Arbitrum ecosystem. So please apply for that. Super exciting. Um, and then other CTA. Sorry, I was looking at your share screen, Griff, and then I'm like, I don't know what to do now. Um, 
other CTAs. Yeah, check out the Give Earth. Yeah, the Give Earth results are here as well. So they've been posted to the forum. It was a super awesome round. There was like $47,000 raised, I think, in matching. No, $44,000 raised in donations on top of the 40000 USD globe matching pool. So once again, the donation amount actually exceeded the amount of the matching pool. So it's amazing to see like the community really rallying around at these incredible projects. It was an earth focused round with 75 projects, 3,249 donations, 797 unique donors. And we had uh, donations that were made across all the teams that give us supports. So check out the matching funds. Um, on the forum right now and um, yeah that's super cool so what happened last month as we mentioned already the give earth round went really well but some noticeable things that are pretty cool is that we extended the give earth round just like a few more days because it was like the super exciting time during each cc and i feel like in those last few days there was like over there was like over fifteen thousand dollars extra donated to projects so like it just kind of having that one longer push in in tandem with kind of being a lot at the Regen Village, Regen's you know, Regen Village in Brussels, and they were really driving people to be donating along with the Regen token. We're really driving people to donate as well. And it was this like huge partnership collaborative opportunity with like USD Glow as well. And honestly, it just like led to a lot of incredible extra donations. Um, the next things coming up or like the other things that went well is that we've been planning for the Give Our Round. Um, give backs went out for all the sponsors from the Give Earth round. And we also had this Give Earth round retrospective call where we went through all the things that went well, the things that went wrong, and we're really just kind of looking at how we could approve for future QF rounds. Um, things that could have gone better. Well, we're actually, I mean, this is like, could have gone better because it could have been done a little earlier, but I'm pretty excited that we're implementing a new verification method for donors in the round. So we're using a dual verification method now, um, similar to what, well, we're using the model-based system that Gitcoin's using and Gitcoin Passport. So you could basically either pass via either one of two systems and like this is really just to make things a little bit easier for people um, who have on-chain activity so they don't have to go and connect all their stamps they actually just do like a one-click check and verify their eligibility so that's coming super super soon it's going to be live for the give arb round um yeah what else could have gone better estimated matching adjustments we had some hiccups at the very beginning of the round and like the estimated matching on the on the dap isn't like it you know it's it's not a good of an estimate as we would have wanted it to be and also there's some hiccups around the communications organization um what is coming up next <laughs> we've got the give our brown as we mentioned we're doing a push for increased sponsors and broader qf fundraise um implementing that new dual model based and passport based system also coming up next we're thinking about doing the next round is going to be a round with base like a base round using base network and we're also talking about following up with that doing a give focused round and supporting projects who are really contributing to the give ecosystem with give tokens so that's all coming soon stay tuned for more features and um don't know who's next was that last that was last we're building the future of giving pass to you Griff. Yeah, it looks like we can go cameras on again. Does anyone have any uh, Q&A? Any questions from any, anybody about anything? What you got? What you got? Come on, there's so much juicy stuff. Um, I will say I'm probably the one who's at fault for the cart feature because I don't like it. I keep pushing it. I made one in the chat and it's um, um, how uh, can projects know if their application was accepted in the give ARP round? I have I have a random one uh base round 
Well, what's the plan for the base round? Are, are the givers going to not nominate? I don't know. I don't have this information. We haven't decided it yet, basically. The base round is still just like in the ideation phase, but it's hoping to be the next round that we're, we're coming up with. So to be determined. Is it going to... Cool. Well, I think the integration seems pretty, pretty, like, guaranteed to be there. That's what I hear. Uh, cool. Well, then, let's just take this minute back. If no one else has any questions, we, uh, we can let everyone go. Thank you for the fantastic town hall, and thank you, thank you all for, uh, for coming and checking in on us. And welcome, remember to be extra welcoming to all the new contributors floating around. Bye, everyone. See you next month. Bye-bye. Bye. Thanks, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.